Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back. And if you're new today, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Well, Happy New Year. It is now 2024, the time that this video goes out. But tonight is actually New Year's Eve, and I really have no plans. So I thought I would sit down, you know, spend some time with you guys, and do a reflection video of 2023. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, please stick around. I have some new products to test out and a lot to chat about. So let's begin the first video of 2023. 2024. Yeah, I thought we could do a little reflection video. Think about all the memories uh, that happened in 2023, you know, from the channel, my personal life. I actually did one last year. If you're interested in seeing that, I'll link that somewhere, you know, up here uh, if you want to take a look at that because I did watch it today. And yeah, that was such a different video than I think this one is going to be. So let's talk about 2023 as I apply some makeup. Uh, like I mentioned, I do have some new products here. And the first products I want to talk about... Uh, was actually sent to me by my good friend Clara here. We actually did a collab video a while back, and if you want to see that, I will link that somewhere around here. Uh, but she is the most sweetest soul. She watches all of my videos. I mean, she's always sending me something at one, uh, one of her giveaways. She's just very, very generous. So uh, this is what she uh, sent over to me, and this is by Sydney Grace. So everything came in this case here, and let me show you what's inside. She sent over this palette called Raspberry Kiss. It's a nine pan palette. And as I'm swatching these, these are so buttery. And I do remember the formula being buttery like this because ironically, uh, one of our other followers, Carla, my good friend, had sent over a Sydney Grace palette to me a while back. So I do remember the formula being super buttery and very pigmented, as you can see here. But those shimmers are absolutely stunning. They have all these different, I don't know, shifts to them and textures and absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait to get these on my lids. So this is the palette here and it does have a mirror and honestly these are all the shades I've been gravitating towards lately and when I first opened this palette my eye went directly to this shade right here so I'm definitely going to be using this shade here. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do but I'm going to try to fit you know most of the shades on my lids as possible uh, from this palette. So I'm going to hurry up and uh, prime my eyes and I'm just going to be using this. It's called a uh, True and a Luscious by, and it's called Angel Eyes and I actually got this in one one of my boxy charms. So I'll just hurry up and prime my eyes. I'll come back and we're going to put these beautiful shades on these lids. Okay, so how I'm going to do this, um, I actually took some notes. I put it on my phone. So if you see me glancing uh, down over here, I don't want to forget anything. So um, I am going to refer to my notes on now and then. And um, I'm just going to kind of point to what I'm going to be using because there's a lot to talk about. I think I'm actually going to start uh, with this shade right here. And really quick, I, I washed all of my brushes yesterday. I'm so excited to use uh, clean brushes. And I do get like these little sleeves, you know, after you wash them just to keep uh, your brushes form on Amazon. And it, these are just really, really nice. So anyway, that's the last of that. And let's get on uh, with the story. So I'm going to start right with uh, January. You know, I did my uh, reflections basically or goals video um, last January. And like I was mentioning, um, I watched it and it was kind of, um, like I said, here, <laughs> it was just kind of different. You know, it just wasn't a very uplifting video if you ask me but I was going through a lot at that time if you guys remembered I was uh, still pretty fresh in my uh, menopause hold on I think there is something on this mirror yes hold on <laughs> hold please let's see if I can get it off <laughs> oh it wasn't as um satisfying as it you know usually as that little you know, rip there. Anyway, so let's talk about, uh, yeah, that reflections. Whoa, that is super pigmented. Um, yeah, the reflections video. Yeah, it was just a little, I don't know. I was watching it. I think it was just really sad back then. I was just going through a phase. Um, again, I think a lot of it was with the menopause. And I just was having, I don't know, just a lot of uh, personal, um, I don't know, conflicts of even filming, you know. I was spending a lot of money on makeup, you know, that was mentioned in the video. Um, I wasn't making any money off YouTube. I wasn't getting any really sponsorships, hardly any PR. It was just a very hard time for me. Um, and I was really starting to second guess, you know, continuing with the channel. I do remember that. Um, I had talked about it several times with Daryl, and of course, he just pushed me. Uh, same with Amanda. 
you know, they just said, you know, this is something that is all just you, you know, this is just yours, you know, please continue it, you know, and so I did. So I made it a goal that I wasn't going to go out and buy tons of makeup, you know, just because it went viral or something like that. And I really did stick to that goal. I was pretty, you know, impressed with myself because it's very tempting, but I look back and I really did not spend a lot of money on makeup. You know, I waited for a lot of sales, uh, like Laura Geller. I did go a little overboard <laughs> with Laura Geller uh, products, but I just absolutely love her makeup. And honestly, they become almost like drugstore prices when she does her sales. So, um, yeah, I'm, that's how I'm going to justify that. And I really do love her makeup. And I use, uh, you know, her makeup, honestly, daily, you know, when I go to work and everything. So it's very well used and it was definitely a worth of the purchase. So, um, yeah, that blended out just absolutely uh, beautifully. Um, I will say once you clean your, you know, your brushes, they do perform a little different. So do you guys get that? You know, um, I almost like a little dirty <laughs> brush, but... Uh, yeah, that is really pretty. That's exactly uh, how I wanted to head with this eye look. Uh, let's go into, hmm, I was going to head here, but I think that's just too rusty uh, for, you know, the look I want to go for here. So where I think I'm going to go right now is uh, this shade right here. Yeah, so um, another goal that I did mention in my video was weight loss. Um, yeah, I totally failed that one big time. I actually think I gained weight. <laughs> 2023 but I am going to make that a goal again um oh my gosh these are just so pigmented wow you got to just really just tap your brush in here Woo! I should have known better from the swatches yeah so the weight gain I, I I know I gained weight I am one of those that definitely do not get on the scale at all um it really just depresses me too much so um, even when I go to the doctor's office, I said, don't tell me, and I close my eyes, so I have no clue. All I know is that my clothes are tighter, <laughs> and I had to go up a size um, in some things. So, yes, um, again, I'm making it a goal to uh, at least work out something, do something um, to get rid of this weight because it's getting out of control. And if I don't put, you know, a stop to it right now, um, it's just going to keep getting worse and I'm just going to get heavier and heavier. So I got to do something right now uh, to get, a, you know, control of that. Now get more into talking about the channel in just a little bit here, but let's go back into January. So I turned up, what was it, 52? <laughs> You forget your age after a while. And so I turned 52 um, and the kids had, a, you know, me over and they cooked a beautiful uh, meal for me. Amanda is such an amazing cook. I absolutely miss her cooking so much. So she made me a beautiful um, birthday meal and got a beautiful cake. And we just had, you know, the best time. And then um, I'm trying to think what else uh, yet. Then they sprung um, their moving plans uh, to me. They asked if they could come over. You know, I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, what did they have to tell me? You know, Amanda's pregnant. But then they go, no, they assured me, I, you know, Amanda was not pregnant. So I'm like, okay, so what could it be that they want to tell us, you know, face to face? And I'm thinking, you know, Kurt was doing very well in his job. So I thought maybe he got a promotion or Amanda, you know, got a, promo a promotion or they, you know, won a trip because Kurt was always winning something uh, at his work. So, you know, all these things went through my mind. What they told me was, you know, far from what I thought was going to be uh, what they told me. So, yeah, they came over. Uh, they asked us to sit down. And now I'm thinking, okay, were they lying? Is she pregnant? You know, I'm thinking all the things are just clicking in my head. And when they said the words, I couldn't, I didn't even know how to respond. You know, I, I honestly didn't. I was, I, I could feel my stomach just drop. I thought I was going to be sick. I mean, just thinking about it right now, you know, my stomach just starts, oh, you know, it just was like a, oh, a punch in the gut. You know, I was just like, what is happening? I knew they were going to move. That was always the plan um, that they were going to move. Uh, Amanda's parents, you know, they have a place there, a second place, but that's where they're going to retire. Uh, they, you know, she had always talked about right from the beginning uh, that she was going to move there, her company. I think that's like where their headquarters is or something. Uh, so I just knew it was in the plan, but it was not supposed to be that soon. But I didn't cry or anything like that. I didn't get... You know, any really emotion, except I tried to be as happy as possible for them because a part of me at that point 
was happy for them. I'm not going to lie. I was being a little selfish, you know, thinking about my own feelings at that point. I'm not going to lie. You know, I was, you know, I was just like, oh my gosh, you know, I just can't believe this. You know, I thought I always imagine Kurt being our next door neighbor. I mean, Kurt was very attached to the family um, very much. I mean, he hardly went out. He was just a very, you know, a homebody. So for all this to be changing, it just was very um, hard for me to, I don't even, not accept, but I don't know, to grasp, you know, to grasp that he's, you know, getting older and he's wanting to do things on his own. He's married, you know, and it's just, it was just a very, very difficult time for me. Um, and yeah, so then um, after they told me, I was just so, again, the emotions, you know, I think I went through every single emotion um, available to a person, you know, I went through sadness, I went through mad, I went through, um, you know, almost a loss, you know, it just was so many emotions, I just can't even believe how many emotions I went through. But after a while, you know, I had to accept it. And I had to be, you know, happy for them. And, um, and I truly was because Amanda did get a promotion. And the only thing I was worried about at that point was uh, Kurt, you know, he was doing so well at his job here in Michigan. Um, you know, I was so worried that he wasn't going to find work down there because, you know, when Daryl and I moved to Virginia, um, you know, we had to, because of his work, uh, we were kind of forced out of Michigan. You know, that's when, you know, the economy went really bad and all, the, you know, all that stuff. So anyway, when we moved to Virginia, you know, um, American cars were not really big there. You know, it was all foreign cars. So I was worried about even Daryl at that point um, when we moved there uh, because I was like, okay, nobody buys American cars and Daryl works for Chrysler. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you know, what is going to happen? Are we going to, you know, really fail? Are we going to be homeless here, you know, because you can't make money? I mean, it was just very scary. So that's why I was, you know, very scared for Kurt. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope, you know, we don't know what kind of cars they drive down there. Amanda did mention there was a lot of foreign cars, but there's also a lot of um, American, you know, GM, Ford, all that good stuff. So Anyway, he found a job almost immediately because Kurt is very charming. Um, by the way, my eyes still watering, so <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Um, Kurt's very charming. He's very social. Uh, he can just, you know, I mean, he could sell, honestly, ice to Eskimos. I mean, he is just amazing. So I really had no worries once he landed a job. And, you know, I, I yeah, he's doing amazing at his job. Actually, better here than here in Michigan. So. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go into this shade here. This is like a light, um, I don't know, like a, almost a satin finish. So I'm just going to place that. I'm going to grab a different mirror here because I do want to be pretty precise with that. I'm just going to place that on the outer edge here. So yeah, that was um, what happened in January. So January was a little uh, tough for me. Um, after that, look what I did. Uh, after that, like I said, I came to terms and I was excited for them. Um, they went through a lot of stuff. They had to sell the house, uh, all that. So let me t take a look and see what happened in uh, fe uh, February. Um, oh, January, I did start my new medication for Crohn's. Um, I, you know, now give myself a different uh, shot, you know, I used to have to do a shot every week, but now I have to do a shot once every two months, which is, you know, so nice, but it's a different form of shot and Daryl gives it to me. And yeah, that was a little tough for him. He was having a hard time giving me uh, this shot. Okay. Why am I making a, such a mess here? I mean, look what I'm doing. I'm just all over the place. I think once I start doing my story times, um, it does, you know, you kind of, I don't know, talk about more than pay attention to uh, the makeup here. So yeah, I missed this whole corner or it could be from my eye watering. So, okay, so that was a January, February. Um, I went to my first bas basketball game, a Kurt won tickets <laughs> to a basketball game. And ironically, uh, they were pay playing, uh, Detroit Pistons were playing the Phoenix, uh, what are they called? Oh, he's going to kill me. Suns. Okay, I had to look it up on the internet because I could not remember. <laughs> 
Phoenix Sun. So we went to this basketball game, had a blast. I actually had a good time because I'm not a huge uh, basketball fan, but yeah, I really did have a good time. So I'm going into this beautiful shade uh, that I've been dying to get into, and it is called uh, Be Kind. How nice is that? Okay, so we went to uh, the first basketball game, and we also got my mom's new dog, her new baby, Lucy. Uh, so yeah, she joined our family in February. She was actually born uh, December, so we had purchased um, this dog for my mom because she lost her chihuahua and uh, suddenly. So yeah, it was just very devastating for her. She just was having a hard time uh, getting over that. Uh, so we thought, well, getting a new puppy might help her, and you know, at first, I think she was very torn. I think she felt, you know, guilty of getting Lucy, um, you know, like she was betraying little Zoila. But, you know, she ended up just adoring this dog, and she is a trip. Let me tell you, this dog has us laughing all the time because we're convinced, like, she does have, like, a form of, I don't know, like, it almost seems like um, she just gets really... I don't know, almost like she's yelling at us. And then she gets up on all fours like a little bear. And you know, <laughs> I mean, it's all like innocent, but she is just hilarious. So, yeah, she's just been a pure joy. Okay, so that is super pretty. Now I'm debating, do I want to go into this? Let's go into this. Let's go into this shade here. And this is called a Shine Bright. So, yeah, that was pretty much it in uh, February. Uh, and then let's see what happened in March. Um, let's see. Oh, I went to uh, Florida to visit my sister because she also moved um, in 2022. I'm getting confused with my years. No, 23. Yeah, she, she moved as well. So it was rather close, you know, to the kids. So I was losing, you know, my first, you know, my big sister and I was losing the kids, you know, to moving and it was just becoming, you know, ridiculous. So anyway, she knew I was very depressed. So she um, invited me down to Florida and boy, was that a much needed trip. Oh, I had the time of my life. She lives in the most cutest little community. I mean, it's all like 50 and older, but... <laughs> Let me tell you, they are like teenagers there. I mean, they really uh, are crazy. So, um, yeah, I went down there. We had the time of our lives. And like I said, it was much, much needed um, time for me to kind of clear my mind. And I took a whole week, you know, off work. It was just very, it was just perfect, you know, perfect, perfect timing. Uh, that's how, you know, kind of how my older sister is. She always comes through when, you know, you need her the most. And yeah, huh, I have to get back down there and visit her too, because that was a very, very fun a trip. I probably wouldn't be adding all these shimmers had I just done it, you know, on my own. But I just wanted you guys to see as much as possible of this palette. And then um, we had the goodbye dinners um, for the kids. I knew it wasn't our farewell at that point. So the dinners weren't, you know, wasn't too hard for me, but it was for like my mom and my dad and everything. So that was kind of sad for them. Okay, let me get into what am I going to do with these eyes next. I can't decide if I want to do... Um, a liner because like I said, I mean, these eyes are just watering and I feel so bad because it almost looks, you know, bad on this side. You know, it looks like it's almost patchy, but it's not. So just so you know, it's not from the palette at all. It's from my eyes watering. So I don't even think I'm going to do a wing at this point because it's almost like uh, not even worth it. So... I'm just going to clean the edges a little bit here. And I think I'm going to do falsies. Maybe uh, that would help. And right now, I'm just going to curl my lashes. So, yeah, the farewell um, dinners, like I said, was not too hard on me. And, yeah, Amanda was moving down to Florida, uh, Florida, Arizona, before Kurt, uh, because she had to start her job. And she was staying at her parents' condo. Like I mentioned, they do have a place there. And, you know, while she went and got the apartment uh, that, that she had found online, she's very organized. I mean, that girl, <laughs> I never have to worry about those two because she just has everything put together, has a plan. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to use this here. This is the CoverGirl uh, Clean Topia. I really do like this um, 
mascara. Hmm. <laughs> do I always debate, do I do the lashes first or this? Because I always have a hard time going over my lashes. You know what? I'm going to do the lashes first. So I'm actually going to use these here by a Tony from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so these are actually very nice uh, lashes, but I definitely will have to cut these down. So let me do that really fast. Uh, let me cut these down. I'll come back and finish my story. But let me show you what they look like before I do I cut them down. So they look like this, just very wispy and very subtle. So yeah, let me cut these down and I'll be right back. Okay, just so you know, I am not good at putting on lashes, so this could be a complete a disaster. So <laughs> I'm actually going to line my eyes with lash glue. This is always just very easy. You know, you don't have to wait for the glue to dry. You just go on and apply them as soon as you place the glue. So <laughs> here we go. So yeah, um, yeah, the Amanda had found a job, or she already had her job. It's the same company. It's just the uh, headquarters. And she did get a promotion, so we were just going to move uh, the kids down there. So we we were we were going to be driving. Um, actually, Amanda and I would flew down. We didn't want to drive, so the boys drove the moving truck down to Florida. But I keep saying Florida, uh, Arizona. But that's later. Uh, right now it was just Amanda that moved, and Kurt stayed back. So in April, you know, we just spent as much time as we could uh, with Kurt uh, before, you know, he had to move. So that was very nice. You know, we had some dinners. We went and saw a movie. So, yeah, it was just very nice to spend some uh, quality time with Kurt before he left. And then Amanda came back like towards the end of April uh, just to do some finalization on the house. So, and, you know, help Kurt, you know, pack, you know, the last amount of packing that was left. So he did pretty good and she did an amazing job uh, before she left. Hmm, that actually wasn't too bad. So, oh, those are really uh, pretty. So I ended up having to take like uh, two clusters off, just so you know. So I will show you here. <laughs> I took about that much off. Okay, so yeah, so Amanda came back and her and I were going to fly down uh, to Arizona, spend some girl time together, and it was just very, very nice, which we did, you know, um, it was just a very nice time, a good bonding experience for her and I, and then when we got there, you know, we went to the apartment, cleaned that up, um, went to the storage, just got things, you know, ready for when the boys uh, made it back. And if you guys want to know about that trip, oh my gosh, for the boys, oh, it was absolutely scary for all of us. Um, so yeah, I do have a video on that. I will link that somewhere if you want to check that one out where I talk about that, you know, more in depth. So that was our April. Um, and then when we got down there, when the boys got down there, we actually had a very nice time. But boy, was it hard leaving those kids. That was the most sad plane ride I have ever been on in my life. I could not stop crying. Um, I'm sure the poor lady next to me was like, what is going on? But I couldn't help it. You know, I was just so sad. But I came back, um, went bring, you know, right back into filming, trying to be as normal as possible. But I knew we were going back for a full vacation, you know, not too long after that. So I did kind of calm myself down about that. Um, so May was uh, pretty uneventful. You know, we just came back from Arizona. June, um, I don't think there was a lot going on in June as well. But, ooh, this is really a pretty. Those lashes are really nice for a dollar at the dollar store. Let me take a look at my notes here. Uh, so, June. Um, oh, yeah, June. I did want to mention Daryl and I did a lot of reconnecting because, you know, a lot of our weekends were with the kids um, for, you know, quite a few years. You know, they were married or together at that point, like three, four years. I don't even know. They've been together for so long now. It seems like forever. Um, so, yeah, we just didn't know. And then before that, Kurt lived here. So we just, I don't know, we were always with somebody, Kurt and stuff. So we did a lot of dinners. We did, um, went to some, you know, movies and stuff like that. We just did a lot of reconnecting with each other. So that was nice. Oh, I think Daryl and I went kayaking. Um, yeah, we had a lot of fun. It was a very nice uh, summer right then. And then September is when we flew back to see the kids because we wanted to spend uh, Kurt's birthday with him. So that was 
really a really nice. And then September, my niece got married. And after that, it, you know, it's been just kind of, I haven't done much. You know, I've just been filming and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get into the makeup now that I basically did the rundown um, of my uh, year in 2023. So right now I'm just going to take off any excess oil with these little oil blotting sheets. I love doing this because my T-zone is really the only place that gets super oily throughout the day. And I just find that this really helps. And a lot of the skincare is just kind of sitting on my skin. So... Yep, isn't that attractive? So <laughs> that's what I do there. And now I'm going to use my Master Blur Stick. I have not used this in a hot minute. You guys, this is really crazy about this eye. I don't know what's going on. I'm actually going to have to see an eye doctor. I don't know. It just keeps watering, and this is not good for the channel. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this. And I could be getting a cold. Um, I kind of feel like something's coming on. I could be wrong. I'm praying I'm wrong. But there has been a lot of sicknesses in my work. My um, mother-in-law was not feeling good. And that's actually why I don't have plans uh, this evening. Because usually we go to Daryl's sister's. Um, she has a New Year's party or New Year's Eve party every year. And has been for, I think, the past 10 years since we moved back from Virginia, but her husband's super sick. So, and I saw him at Christmas. So I could be coming down, coming down with something. Okay, so uh, that looks good. I'm not going to really uh, prime my face. I think. Um, did I bring down my Bialba spray? No, I did not. So all I have on is my sunblock. But I do have a new foundation. I do. I'm super excited about this. Um, and it's by Catrice, and it's actually their tinted serum. Now, this looks super light. Um, I don't know about this. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about that. But I did swatch it upstairs. Um, and as you can see, it is a little on the light side. But it does oxidize. So I'm hoping that, you know, once it oxidizes, that it's going to be a perfect shade match. And I got mine in the shade, uh, it looks like 0 a 10 neutral. So let's give it a try. You know how much I do not like these droppers, though. Um, I'm not sure excited about that but I will just use a, one of those little pump dispensers that I get on Amazon okay let's see what the shade brings us so it definitely is a much runny consi much runnier <laughs> consistency so that's what it looks like but it's not too runny not too bad so let's see what the shade does mm -hmm. we will see mm. there is a little bit of a almost like a paint smell, but it's not as bad as some of them. Um, it's not like the wet and wild, but there definitely was a scent to this. Um, and I actually got mine on Amazon because, um, you know, Catrice, they don't sell in the stores anymore. You either have to go to their website or you have to purchase on Amazon. So there wasn't a lot of shades available. Um, and I don't know on their website if there's a lot available. But yeah, not there wasn't a lot in other lists. So let's blend this in. I think I'm going to use a brush on this side and see what happens. Yeah, this is definitely too light of a shade. But let's see if it does oxidize. So it did blend in rather quickly. And um, it definitely is a lighter feel to it. You know, it doesn't feel super heavy at all. I almost feel like I should apply more or feel like I want to apply more. Um, I'm more like a medium coverage gal. And if you are new, um, I have dry, mature skin, of course. I'm going to be 53 in a few days. And... Um, yeah, it's textured, it's wrinkly, <laughs> it has uh, pores. So, yeah, I definitely need more um, product. It does seem to, you know, a little does not go a long way. So let me just grab whatever's on the back of my hand. And, but it's supposed to be a serum. I bet you could even apply this with your fingers. Um, that probably would be the ideal way to apply um, a serum. That's usually what I do. But I think with this being so lightweight, I would want to use a brush or my fingers. I think the sponge just um, absorbs it too much. I do have, I didn't even know I had it, um, some dry spots right here, uh, like skin, you know, that kind of peels away. Um, and I mentioned in a 
you know, previous video that I haven't even noticed that since I started using the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. And I am seeing a little bit of that skin there that I was not aware was even there. Um, so I, I feel like it does show if you have dry skin, it's going to really accentuate that. Like even in here, and it could be because, you know, it is so light. Uh, sometimes when a foundation is too light, it's going to really show everything. So every pore, every, you know, every flaw, but yeah, <laughs> way too light. Um, but... You know, other than that, it does not look too bad. Um, I'm just going to not even judge it right now. I'm going to let it sit on the skin and really just, you know, warm up to my skin and see if anything changes. Uh, it's not horrible, but it's not the best serum that I have tried. Okay, so let's go into, and hopefully I can deepen this up with something. <laughs> right now I look like a ghost and thank goodness I'm not going anywhere okay so I thought I did bring down uh, some concealer uh, let me take a look around here and I did I found it um, it's my cover girl stick I love this uh, this was in my top three favorites this is such a great little concealer um, and you're gonna see why I love it so much it's just so you know easy to apply you just go in and draw where you want your concealer and it has decent coverage and it's very uh, creamy, so I'm going to start with this much because I have not used this, you know, as much as I should lately. So place a little bit here, a little bit on my nose just to add a little bit more coverage and <laughs> just draw all over my face, I guess. Okay, so let me grab my concealer brush and we are just going to blend that in. Okay, let's talk about the channel, um, you know, the changes in the channel this year. Um, I started out kind of slow because uh, I mentioned, you know, I was shorthanded at work. I was having a hard time uh, filming. I was going through something uh, where I was almost having, and I still go through this, and I think I know why. Um, I go through, free, you know, freezes. Like, it's almost like my first time filming. You know, I start stumbling over my words a lot. I still do, you guys. I keep a lot of that in because I'm like, it is what it is because if I sat there and tried to cut out all the stumbling over my words, uh, there would be no video because, yeah, I have a hard time and I think I figured out why. Um, that I've been having like almost a brain fog, you know, brain fog. I stumble over my words. I can't think of the word I want to say. Uh, just a lot of issues. And it was kind of scaring me there for a second. Um, but I do know a lot of it is from menopause. Uh, you can go through that. You, you can feel dizzy. You can have brain fog. Um, so that's kind of normal. And when I found that out, that really, you know, settled my brain, <laughs> you know, to where I didn't think, okay, something is seriously wrong. Um, and then I was watching Risa Does Makeup, um, and she's on some pain pills, and it's called Gab Petten. I, I, hope, I hope I'm saying that right. But I've been on that medication for, I think, at least two years now, maybe more. And she mentioned, I mean, you, I watched the video. She was, it looked exactly like me, only she didn't edit edit anything out. So there was a lot of stumbling. There was a lot of um, almost like squirrel, squirrel uh, type situation. So I was like, oh my gosh, is that what's been going on with me? You know, with that medication? Because I've just been on it for so long that it, I just felt like that was normal. And the reason why I take it is um, I have a really bad neck and I'm afraid to stop taking it because I'm afraid the neck pain will come back and I'll have to get surgery. So it's really been masking it. But you know, I really think it does play um, a part with my brain frog, um, my word stumbling, stuff like that. So I was really happy to see that video of hers because I really think that's what's been going on. So anyway, see what I mean? I get on these tangents of I just go on these rolls here. So I think that's, um, you know, why... This channel, it kind of changed this year. Like I said, it was kind of slow in the beginning. And then I started filming more. Um, I started feeling more comfortable again in front of the camera. Um, and hold on. I do want to go back into the Sydney Grace uh, package here because she sent over a lot of stuff. So I know there is a, a bronzer in here. Yes. So uh, this is uh, the bronzer here. And this is in the shade a Cinnamon Roll. And this is a super creamy formula. So I am really 
really excited about this. There almost seems like there is a slight a shimmer in it, and it looks like a perfect shade match for me. Yeah, this is really creamy, but hopefully you can see where there's almost like a shimmer in that, So, which is nice for mature skin. It's not going to be super flat or matte. So let's try this, and hopefully I can add some color to my face. I mean, oh my word. So, ooh, that is pigmented or... You know, it just really <laughs> deposits a lot of color really quickly. So I'm just going to have to spread the love here at first. And, but I am happy to get some color back into my face. Wow, you do not need a lot of product. I mean, <laughs> at all. I really overdid it. How shocking. Um, So, yeah, the channel, I feel, got a lot better. I would say things started changing for the channel Probably, <laughs> I don't know, I would say maybe a June, I started seeing a difference, you know, um, in my numbers, and, and I, oh, that was another thing I did mention um, in the video, um, the 2020, what would it be, <laughs> 23, the beginning 2023 video where I mentioned my goals and stuff. Um, that was one of the things I said I did not want to focus on was the numbers. So I really didn't. I mean, yeah, you're going to notice if a video does well or not. I mean, that's the whole idea um, is to have a nice video. Uh, none of my videos have ever gone really viral or anything like that. But um, I wasn't really caring. You know, I had a lot of videos where I only had, I don't know, 200 views or something like that. And I have, you know, at the time, I think I had, I don't know, I, maybe 4,000 followers. And I'm like, how can that be? You know, but you know, it is what it is. You know, sometimes you guys don't want to watch some of the stuff that I put out, which is fine. And that's another thing. Um, you know, I'm like, I'm just going to post what, you know, I feel somebody might like, and that will be that instead of, you know, contemplating over and over, oh gosh, you know, somebody won't like this, somebody, you can't please everybody. So, that's what I've been doing, just putting out content that, um, you know, if I have a product, I'm just going to talk about it. And if the video does well, it does well. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, that's my new um, motto for this channel. And it really did help. It really made a difference. I love that bronzer. <gasps> Look how different. I mean, that is exactly what that little foundation needed. Ooh, Really a nice bronzer. Thank you so much, Clara. Very, very nice. Okay, and it doesn't... Let me take a close look in the mirror, see if there's any glitter or anything like that. Uh, there's a glow. It's not glitter, but I will tell you, my foundation or that serum looks 10 times better than it did a few minutes ago. I think adding that glow into um, the product really help that situation a lot and I have you guys these eyes I swear okay and then she did uh, send over as well a, a blush and where is that and that is in the shade Petunia and again this is super creamy like that bronzer now I don't know how well this uh, shade is going to go with the eye look or the eye palette but I'm definitely going to put it on just to see you know the formula and to see how long it lasts on the skin so now I know to be very uh, light handed. So I'm just going to basically do that. And I'm actually going to tap the back of my hand. Oh my gosh, her products are very, very pigmented. Oh, but what a beautiful a shade. Okay, so I definitely can add a little bit more. So, because I don't want to be too light like I was the other day with the e.l.f. products. Ooh, that is a super pretty. So, okay, I'm just going to work in increments because these are super pigmented, but they are gorgeous. <gasps> I actually really I love the shade, and I actually think it kind of works with this look. Somehow, it's really morphing into looking okay. So, that is the blush here. Mm, absolutely stunning. So, I'm going to do this other side, and then we'll go back on to the story. Okay, so back to the channel. Yeah, so um, things really took a turnaround uh, when I did my uh, Timu uh, video. Holy moly, that just took off. I think I had 
37,000 views on that uh, video, which that really helps my channel because that was the first time I ever made that kind of money on a video. Um, I was absolutely floored. So that video, I think I made like $507, uh, which is huge for my channel. I mean, normally I make on a video three to five dollars. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, three to five dollars. That one I made, um, yeah, five hundred dollars. So let me go back to my notes because I, I don't know if you guys are curious about that, um, but I do definitely want to uh, share that kind of information with you guys because you make that happen. And honestly, it helps me so much. I've had a few lights that have gone out that I had to replace, you know, makeup, um, all that stuff. So, you know, electricity, you know, this takes up a lot. Okay, and another video that did very well. Um, I think after that, though, uh, there was, I think, the Laura Geller, possibly, or it was the, um, I tested the 20 Miss A products. And that one, I did receive 1.7 thousand views. So that is really big for my channel. And I gained 38 subscribers for that. And I made a $20.50. So there you go. 1.7 thousand views and I only made $20 on that video. So it just goes to show. So every video, you know, every video is different. I don't know how, you know, YouTube comes up with the numbers or how, you know, you get paid by that. But some videos you make tons of money and some you don't make any. But anyway, I was super happy with the followers. Thank you. Hi, if you're here from that video. Um, another one that did very well was um, the first Laura Geller video that I did. I think I've made three because I, I'm obsessed with her products. Uh, so yeah, the one I sat on this purchase for a long time, uh, that had 32,000 views. Um, I gained, are you ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? 358 subscribers I gained from that video. And I made $500 from that video. So it was about the same. Actually, it was less than the Timu uh, video, but I made more. See, again, I did, it's so unpredictable. I don't know how it works. And then another good video that does well on the channel is um, foundations. And the the video that did well, it was called My Top 5 Favorite Drug Store Foundations for Mature Skin. That one had like 740 views, but that's very good. I, I'm super happy with that. I gained seven uh, subscribers and I made $7.08. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, the Timu, um, yeah, that one had 37,000 views. I gained 426 followers from that video, um, and I made $321 off that. Um, the Laura Geller Encore, um, let's see, did I, oh, I can't see how many, I think it was like 5,000 views on that. I gained 70, another 72 subscribers. And I made $65 um, on that. So there you go. I mean, it's just all over the place. But I just felt a little better about the channel. It gave me confidence. It gave me, you know, a goal. It, you know, gave me just so much, you know, to see my, you know, videos being, you know, viewed, gaining subscribers, making a few dollars, you know. So it was just absolutely a wonderful uh, year. You know, it started, like I said, changing around June. Now, let me go back at a glance. Uh, this came in my email, which I thought was really cool from YouTube. So it looks like this. They sent over that and it says that on my year end with YouTube in 2023, um, I gained 1,639 subscribers. I mean, how wonderful is that? Now, obviously, they don't all watch my videos because. <laughs> you know, a lot of my videos only have, what, 200 uh, views on it. But at least, you know, they subscribed. They subscribed enough. You know, they saw a video that they really did enjoy it. So that makes me, you know, truly happy. Um, I had 209,000 views in 2023. Um, I uploaded 81 videos. Um, and I had 11,000.4 likes, uh, 1,747 comments from you guys. I mean, the likes and the comments, that is beautiful. I thank you guys so much. And you guys, there's like the same handful that come in every single video. 
every single video, you are here. And it just means so much to me. I enjoy seeing, you know, familiar uh, names and, you know, sometimes there's a, a picture, so faces. I mean, it's just, I mean, wonderful friendships with some of you. I mean, it's just amazing. And then there was 284 shares. So you guys are sharing my videos, which is just unbelievable. And I do want to put a huge a shout out uh, to someone, even though you guys, all of you, how you know how much I love you dearly, um, a lot of you. But there is, um, I can't find it, but there is um, a subscriber here that has been with me since literally, I think, like the second video, maybe the first. I don't know. Maybe she was there and I just didn't know. But that's how long she's been with me and she's stuck by me the entire time. And she's here every video. And I just can't say enough about her. And she's just an amazing, amazing soul. <laughs> can't even talk about it because I get all choked up. She's an amazing soul. And um, hold on. Mm -hmm. You all are. You all mean the world to me. But her name is Dana. She, I looked, um, there was a way to find out. I didn't know this was even a possible. But she has made over almost 400 comments on my videos. 400 comments. That, that means she has been in, because I've done, I think it was 300 uploads um, totally, you know, through my career here on YouTube. So she has commented you know, if not, obviously more than one time on my videos, every video. So thank you so much, Dana. You know how much I love you. Wow. And like I said, there are so many of you that were, I was looking almost 200 comments, you know, I have been here for a very long time and I cannot thank each one of you enough. I, and I mean that with my total soul and heart. I cannot, you have gotten me through some crazy times, you know, and I, I think I've done that for you as well. You know, we've been here for each other and that's what is so important. Mm. <laughs> is yeah, we're here for each other. I, I love you all dearly, dearly. <laughs> okay. Let's try to move on without ruining this makeup. <laughs> this is just, I did not plan for it to take that turn here. Um, but yeah, you guys mean the world to me. Okay, uh, <laughs> hold on, I need a little drink of water because mm, I think everything was about to just come right out. Okay, so where are we at on the makeup? <laughs> because, yeah, I lost track. So we got the blush, we got the bronzer. Oh, oh, she sent over a highlighter as well, and this looks absolutely uh, stunning. And this is in the shade Paradise on Cream. Par yeah, Paradise on Ice. <laughs> Paradise on Ice. Again, just another very creamy a formula, just like the blush and the bronzer. Now, this has like a pink shift to it, so this is going to be a very interesting, but it looks absolutely a beautiful. So, again, this is the shade here. Super excited to put this on. I'm going to be very, very light-handed because her stuff is super pigmented. So... Ooh, that is very beautiful, and it's very subtle if you're light-handed. So as you can, hopefully you can see that beautiful pink shift in that. Actually, that is working really well with that uh, blush because this is more like, like, like I said, on the orange, orange side. So this is just going to give it that little pop of pink that it needs. So very pretty. So I'm just going to place a little bit on the Cupid's bow. About a little tiny bit on the nose, and yes. Okay, you guys, this is really getting to be a no. Well, I was crying. <laughs> I, expect, I expect a lot of this makeup, I swear. Oh boy. But I'm super excited where the channel is heading. Um, you know, is it where I would love to be at right now? Absolutely not. I'm sure everybody and you know who starts a channel would like to be a lot further than they are. And I tell you where my head goes. Um, it's very hard not to compare. Very hard um, with other channels, whatnot. 
But I remember Allie Glein's fifth year. Um, that's actually when I won one of her giveaways, and it was a very generous giveaway. It was a $500 gift card to Ulta. Uh, she mentioned my name. I got tons of uh, new followers from that. She, that's why she's my forever angel. Uh, she picked me out of all the... You guys know the story. Um, yeah, she picked me out of a lot of um, applications because you kind of had to write an application because it was more for influencers. So anyway, she picked me an old lady. Lady, you know, out of all these people that I know had turned in uh, like these forms. So anyway, that was her five year. And I think she was at 600 or maybe close to 700,000 subscribers. Well, I'm going to my fourth year. <laughs> I'm a little behind, but I am super happy because I just see, you know, before it would be like a subscriber, maybe, you know, a video. Maybe if I was lucky, I'd get five. Now it just, you know, it just keeps changing all the time. And I, like I said, I'm going to be more happy that you guys are here because I truly enjoy all of you. You get me through some really tough days. Okay, let's get into this makeup. This is going to be the longest video ever. <laughs> what can we do? Okay, so let's go back into the palette. And I think I'm going to, you know, go with this shade right here. And I'm just going to place that. Uh, let me see, yeah, this shade here. I'm going to place that all along the lower lash line. And let's just be a little careful here. And, oh my gosh, you guys, I will tell you, I absolutely love that Sydney Grace, um, their cream products. That is absolutely, if it stays on the skin, I am just going to be ecstatic because it really changed that whole foundation's um, outlook here because, <laughs> Uh, it was looking dry. It does not look dry whatsoever now. Uh, my skin looks very glowy and healthy and beautiful. Oh my gosh. Let me just take a look really quick at this foundation and see. It, it just looks completely different. I just can't get over it. Um, it doesn't even look as dry right here. So it could be one of those foundations or serums that it just really has to warm up to the skin uh, to look nice. But I will tell you, I feel like I have zero makeup on, uh, which is very, very nice. Okay, and I think for my outer corner, I'm actually going to go into this beautiful uh, plum shade here, which is more like a satin finish. Let's just do it. <laughs> and I'm going to tap that off. And just place that on the outer edge here. And I'm not going to go a too crazy, which I kind of did. <laughs> and I'm just going to sweep that into more of the center of the eyelid or under eye. Ooh, that is super pretty. So tonight, yeah, we're just going to be hanging out. Um, we're not going to be doing much at all, which is I'm actually looking forward to it because I haven't done that in um, years. And honestly, when we go over to uh, my sister-in-law's, I never get to, you know, get to watch uh, Ryan Seacrest or whoever's on. But I never get to watch it because we're all just, you know, having fun, you know, uh, having a good time. So tonight I finally get to uh, watch it again. I haven't watched it, watched it uh, since uh, Dick Clark. So I am actually looking forward to it. We're going to order a Chinese. I did already pick up um, some champagne because I just got some just in case. And... Yeah, I'm just looking forward uh, to spending some time with my mom, the dogs, and Daryl. It's just going to be a lovely, I think, a lovely evening. So and I'm just placing that really light shade in the inner corner, which is absolutely a stunning. Ooh, super, super pretty. I'm really loving where this look is going. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have to put some powder on. Otherwise, this makeup may not stay. Um, and what I brought down um, are these here by Miss AOA. I really haven't used them. And I want to try them again because the one that I tried that one day was pretty impressive. Now, <laughs> are they for ants? Possibly. I mean, they're quite tiny. <laughs> But I think they're so cute, and like I said, I really did like what it did that one day. So I got to be very careful because they are, you know, rather messy. And I'm just going to place about that much in my cap, and then I'm going to take um, my new stands out sponge right here, and it's super, super soft. And I'm just going to place a little bit on the bra or the pad here or the sponge. And I'm just going to tap it off on the back of my hand. So I'm really just pushing it really into that sponge because this is super finely milled. And the powder will go everywhere. But that makes it good because that way it's not going to look too cakey 
or anything like that. So I'm just going to set the T-zone right here. And then, oh, I did want to use this. Maybe I'll try this under the eyes. And then I'm going to place a little bit more in the cap. And I'm going to take, I have to get a, a little smaller of a brush because this is so tiny. So I'm just going to place my brush in here and tap that off. Just lightly go around all the cream products. Okay, let's go into uh, this one here. I think this is more like a corrector type uh, situation, but I do want to try it out. So I'm just going to place a little bit, hopefully we'll all mix together. Now this one's coming out very light. Oh, I remembered I did. I just punctured like a few ho you know, holes and that way it does come out more slow. So it looks like that in the cap. Um, and what I think I'm going to do is take another uh, poof poof here and mix it together. And let's set under the eyes and see what happens. Actually, when I use um, that concealer, it, this does not to be does not need to be set with powder, but I do want to see what this does. So I'm just going to place a little bit just here in the inner corner and on the outer corner and see if that does brighten that any. Mm. I really can't tell a huge difference. So, but it really didn't make anything look super powdery or cakey. Um, I will say that it just almost like undetectable uh, on the skin, including around the nose. Um, yeah, I can't even tell that I have powder on. So, but I could tell I do because it's not tacky anymore. Very nice powder, and uh, this is a dollar eighty-eight. <laughs> Love that. Okay, and to set my face, what I think I'm going to use is this here. I haven't used this in a hot minute. Uh, Makeup Revolution, uh, the uh, Conceal and Define. This was like my holy grail for the longest time. And honestly, it's a very close dupe to the Charlotte, <laughs> to the Charlotte Tilbury. The only downfall is the um, sprayer is super aggressive. So that is, you know, if they would change the nozzle on that, It'd be like the perfect little uh, setting spray. So I'm just going to set the under eyes with a little bit of the setting spray as well. Okay, so let's get into the lips and then we are uh, finished and <laughs> you guys can enjoy your night because, oh my gosh, this is going to be a long video. Okay, and to line my lips, I'm going to be using this here by Rare Beauty. I absolutely love this lip liner. It's one of my favorites. Um, I do need to get more shades of this because, yeah, I use this one all the time, but it's almost like that perfect, um, I don't know, uh, universal, <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for, universal uh, lip liner because it goes with so many uh, of my lipsticks. Mm. Okay, so let's go, and it's super creamy and very long lasting, just very easy to work with. If you guys have any of her lip liners and have a favorite shade, let me know. Because this is in Wise. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, this is in the shade Wise. So isn't that beautiful? It's such a beautiful a shade. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to be using uh, this here by Revy Beauty. This is the Effortless Effortless Lips. And I, uh, this is in the shade Dahlia. So... Oh, these are so beautiful. I love these. Super comfortable on the lip. And what I love is you can put, that is like one light layer. Very beautiful. But if you keep going over it, it builds up and turns a completely different shade. Mm, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, absolutely Beautiful. It has a beautiful shine. I oh, love these. And I've been using this non-stop, these. And I still have that much left, so I don't get it. Because I'm always, you know, going around and around and around. And I don't know. It doesn't go away uh, rather, you know, super quick. So, yeah. So, this is uh, the final look here. And, again, I hope this, you know, 
video isn't all over the place. Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, share 2023 with you guys, kind of reminisce um, on the year and all the changes, you know, in my life, personal and uh, the channels and your guys' life. I know um, I've talked to so many of you, you know, you've had some changes in your life as well. You know, we've had this kind of a year, you know, it's just been a roller coaster. And yeah, hopefully 2024 is just going to be smooth sailing and we're all going to just have the best year, year yet. And we're we're going to all stay healthy and yeah, just be happy and all that good stuff. So that's what I'm hoping uh, for 2024. We all need a very good year. So this is the final look. I just love how everything looks, including that um, foundation. I was a little worried about that. I absolutely love everything from this line. Thank you so much, Clara. I cannot thank you enough. I mean, I absolutely love that makeup. You guys will definitely be seeing uh, these little beauties a lot. Um, the blush and the bronzer and the, even the highlighter and um, this, you know, palette. I actually think I did a good job creating, you know, using all the different colors uh, in this palette. So, Cheers to 2024. It's a little early here, so I don't have my champagne, but cheers to you. I cannot wait to see you guys again. I love you with all my heart, and until next time.